clean car though, man. It was a fun race. guys welcome back to another video on the evo i know it's been a while but i just now got it ready to start tuning and stuff like a couple days ago so yesterday we started with a base map did a couple revisions and uh, i'm going to show you a little bit more about how you tune and stuff with evo scan and ecu flash for those of you that are wondering i did two wide open throttle pulls yesterday and one of them my intercooler pipe popped off this one right here, off the top of the intercooler. So loud that I thought the motor blew up while I was doing a pull. So I've came up with this ingenious idea here where I go through the front mesh of the bumper so I don't have to take the bumper off and it fit perfectly. So I'm gonna put that back on there and then I'm gonna go out, log another, log another two pulls, send it to him so he can make some adjustments and stuff. But car pulls pretty good so far. When you first start your tune, you'll do a 10 minute idle log and then a 20 minute cruise log send those to him he makes some adjustments you get it back you do another five minute idle and 15 minute cruising and stuff like that so i ended up doing three idles and then two cruising logs and then we were finally starting to work on some power pulls so i did two the first two power pulls i did it was like really lean he probably pulled a bunch of timing out of it just to make it safe and stuff so it wasn't that fast and then the second time i went out it was at 26 psi the first one was at 18 psi which is wastegate pressure i think then the second one i went out it pulled pretty good and he said it made 470 wheel horsepower so far we still got more to go but that's where it's sitting at right now and then when i did those two pulls the second one is when the intercooler pipe popped off so i want to fix that real quick goddamn trains dude i'm gonna fix that real quick and then i'll show you a little bit more on the computer of what we're doing all right boys we are ready to start tuning well not tuning but data logging this is evo scan right here the tuner will tell you what to set all this stuff to you just copy all that and then if you have trouble getting your wideband to work you either have the wrong one selected or you don't have your port selected which this is not showing up for mine Usually off the side it'll say COM port 3, 4, or whatever port it is. So once I plug these in, it should pop up. I might have to restart it. Check the wideband. Okay, see it says COM port 3 there. That means that is plugged into the third USB port. So it is hooked up. We're ready to go. And basically all you got to do is click start data logger. When you're done, end data logger and that's about the end of that now ecu flash i'll go ahead and show you that for those of you that's never done this before this is ecu flash basically you'll go up here click file open rom and then you'll click whatever file your tuner sent to you open that up and then there will be a bunch of little boxes here it's the second one over click that it says flash current whatever to car and then that loads your tune on there so I've already done all that though we just have to redo my logs from yesterday since my intercooler pipe blew off so we're ready to start the car and then we'll just do a quick test to see if the wideband is actually working or not I'll click start data logger you can see here that's the wideband, 14.3, 14.4, so it is working. Go ahead and stop that. Now, now I'm gonna go to a stretch of highway where there's not too much traffic, and then I'm gonna start the log seven minutes, or not seven minutes, seven seconds before I start the pull, and keep it logging seven seconds after the pull. That's what he told me to do, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna look and see if I got a, a suction mount so I can mount the camera up real quick. Well, at least let the car 
get up the temperature real quick anyways. It is pretty cold out too, so hopefully I don't spin any. Uh, looks like we got a good chance here. Do a second gear pull. So I'm back, just did my pulls. So I'll show you where your logs are saved on your computer. So you go to right here. This PC documents Evo scan save data logs. So right here is the three that I did. One of them was the first test run just to make sure the uh, wideband was working. So we'll go ahead and delete that one. Then these other two here that I didn't already rename are uh, are pools. So just take these two files, attach them to the email, and send them to him. And then he'll send you a new revision, and you just continue from there. Well, I was about to take it out for another fucking rip, but I guess the weather had other plans. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's all I recorded for the tuning part. Um, I do want to say how much the car made and uh, kind of go a brief overview of, of the stuff that you will need. So the car ended up making 545 wheel horsepower on E85. Don't have numbers for 93, but that was at, I think, 33 PSI. So it's up there. It's around 420 something torque. I don't remember. I'll put the graph on the screen right now if I can remember to do that. But yeah, good numbers for a stock block Evo. Um, we could push it a little bit harder, but on the stock block, it's not really worth it. I, I'd rather run on the side of reliability. <clears throat> There's plenty of 500 horsepower stock block Evos running around out there for 30, 40,000 miles. And people daily drive them and everything. So this isn't really anything new. A lot of people run this, but eventually maybe I'd like to pull the motor out and build it because I'm going to keep this car for a while. So I'd like to, you know, keep it around, upgrade it every now and then. Eventually, maybe we'll get up to like eight or 900 horsepower. That'd be pretty cool. But that's a long time from now because that ain't in my budget right now. Hopefully, I went over the steps if you're trying to tune your Evo. I'll have everything that you need linked down in the description. Also, Chag Tuned, I'll have his Instagram and his website down in the description. He also has a bunch of information on his website. Um, I'd recommend him as a tuner. He was really awesome. He's really quick with the replies. It's not like you log something and have to wait a couple hours. He's usually like 15-20 minutes after that he's sending you the next uh, revision of your log. So it's super quick. And if you really sat down and did it, you can have the whole tune done within like two or three hours. So definitely recommend him. He tunes a lot of Evos. He, he knows these cars really well and he's probably the best one out there. But Look through the description. I'll have everything you need to buy to tune your car. Also check out his uh, website. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.